money, that which separates the haves from the have-nots. If you were like me throughout this quarantine, then you binged a ton of shows. And one of the shows that I really enjoyed during this quarantine was Ozark. And it's a Netflix original series, it takes place in the Ozark Lake in Missouri, and it stars Jason Bateman, and he also directs it. The one thing that stood out to me in, in this entire series is its use of super dramatic color grading and how it affects the mood and how it assists the buildup and the suspense and the thrill of the series. So in this video, I wanted to kind of recreate that look to the best of my ability. <laughs> Before I get into this, I'm gonna just say that the cameras they use are easier to color grade on because there's more data in the shots. So you can get more information back when the highlights are blown out and it's easier to color correct. And two, all my shots are a little different than theirs. So I'm gonna do the best I can to recreate this look. It's not gonna look exactly like it. Let's try this. So if we look at this shot right here, we notice that one, it's very underexposed and that's intentionally done. I'm sure they did that in camera. And it's also very blue, which is a common theme in the color grading of this entire show. So I'm gonna try and do this with this drone shot of my buddy zipping across the lake. We're gonna first off drop the exposure down about a stop a little more, blow this up to about 35 on the contrast. Highlights are gonna drop, and this is where having a nicer camera would help. See this, this, this sun right here is blown out. A lot of nicer cameras, you'd be able to get that information back. Um, I under I overexpose this shot just a little bit, so that's gonna affect how this color grades, but we can fix that, it's no big deal. Um, I would drop the shadows. Don't touch the whites. I would maybe just move the whites like five, and then drop the blacks down to like 50. And like I said, this is gonna be different than your shot. It's gonna color grade different. Just kind of give you guys a little general outline of how this is done. So this is where the money is made, where we're kind of this whole look is made. And there's a couple ways of going about this, but I'm gonna go into the color wheels and match section here. And I am going to take the mid-tones and move those down a little bit to blue, give them a little bit more light blue tint closer to green a little bit. And then we're gonna turn those down about there. Shadows, obviously blue, not that much. We already turned our shadows down, so you probably don't need to touch those. And then highlights, I'm gonna move to like a greenish yellow type deal. Another thing you can do is kind of add, using the curves, if you wanna add some blue in the shadow, do that because the shadows are down here, highlights are up here. And then overall, if you want to add more blue, you can do that. I'm not going to add any more though. So I am going to drop this exposure. And like like I said, like this effect is super dramatic. You almost want it too dark where you're squinting. And, and that's kind of what I was doing when I watched this show. So as you can see, if we play this back in real time, it's got a super dramatic effect to it. And, and, and that looks like a shot from Ozark, like it really does. Minus all this mumbo jumbo highlights overexposed here. Another effect that I noticed in this show, another kind of side of the color grading, if you would, is like that use of that greenish yellow over exaggerated tone, desaturated kind of cool look. So we're gonna try and recreate that here. And now I, here I have this shot of Marty in Mexico, kind of on the ground. He's struggling, you know, that's the mood. It's very sour, blue, yellow, green, whatever it is. Kind of gross mixture there. So now I have this shot of my buddy walking down. We're gonna slow that down so it's less wobbly. So what I would do for this shot to recreate that kind of gritty, yellowy look is take this, turn this down, one and a half. Highlights down to about 30. Shadows down to around maybe 40, a little higher. Don't touch whites, blacks down significantly. And then one thing I did was go into curves and kind of like colors that I didn't want that were in there is kind of just desaturate them just a little bit using the eyedropper tool. You just hit this little eyedrop and then click the color you want and then you can magically, you can see those set, those trees back there are severely desaturated now. Not severely, but pretty significantly. You wanna go back into your color wheels and match, take your mid-tones, do the same thing I would say, turn them down, 
pretty good amount there. Shadows, maybe just a blue tint. And highlights, yellow, green. And as with anything, you're gonna wanna mess around with this. This is a super dramatic effect. Not every shot in Ozark uses a super dramatic coloring effect, but like this right here, this looks like a shot from Ozark if it's not slow motion, you know, like that's what the dusk shots look like. So there's a lot of ways to go about this. You can use your RGB curves. You can use Lumetri color, which is what I use. In color grading in Premiere, there's, there's not one way to get to the same destination. There's a multitude of different ways. I hope I was able to kind of give you a loose idea of what goes into the color grade and how it affects the mood of the show, making it more gritty and kind of adding to the suspense and thrill of it. Overall, underexpose, make a kind of a little blue tint in the shadows, maybe a little bit yellowish green in the highlights and mid-tones. I hope you guys were able to get a little, a little bit of value out of this. I enjoyed doing it. It was hard to recreate, honestly. So if you have any questions, leave them below. I'd like to hear them. I work really hard on this YouTube channel, so like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Appreciate it, guys.